Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Dai, and today I'm bringing you my May manga haul. I did actually get quite a bit of manga in the month of May because I was prepping for the Manga Pride Readathon. If you are interested in participating or would like to get more information on that, definitely check out the link down in the description box below. I have links to all three hosts, Bizarre Individual, It's Rachel, and Dynamic Dylan. So go check out their videos and see if you like to participate. It definitely isn't too late to join in. But because of that, I did have to bulk up my collection. And so one of the things on their bingo board is to read a host fave. And so each of the hosts has small host fave lists during their announcements. And so I decided to go ahead and pick up some of those and see if they'd be something that I'd be interested in. So again, I don't present these in any particular order. I basically just put in an order close to the beginning of the month and then as they come in, I put them all in a bag and then when I get ready to film this video, I just put them all on this desk right here and I'll just share them with you. So they're not sorted in any way at all. So let's just dig into it. Right off the top here, I have 10 count. This is Story and Art by Rihito Takarai. This is volume one, published by Sublime, rated mature. Um, I have heard quite a bit about this series. I think it follows a person who has OCD and his therapist and it is covered in plastic. I didn't think this one was going to come in, to be honest, because when I had put in the order, it said it wasn't going to be available until September. And so this one was on Bizarre Individuals list of favorites, I believe. And so I decided to go ahead and give this one a try. I have, I sh married my best friend to shut my parents up. Story and art by Kodama Naoko. This one's published by Seven Seas, rated older teen, and I think the title of this basically tells you what it's about. This is a GL manga, and this one I got off of Dynamic Dylan's favorites list. Also from Dylan's list is The Bride Was a Boy, True Story and Art by Chi'i. This one is published by Seven Seas and rated teen. The art style on this just looks super cute. Again, I think the title pretty much says it all and I'm looking forward to getting into this one as well. Plus, this is a one shot, which is very unusual for me to pick up. And so having a full story in just one volume is so great. Again, looking forward to getting into that. This particular one I didn't pick up because of the Manga Pride Readathon specifically, but I am participating in whatever thon during the month of June as well. And one of the host faves for that is I Hear the Sunspot. This is volume one by Yuki Fumino. This one was published by One Piece Books and there is no rating on it. So I don't quite know but I presume it's not anything older than older teen because it was not in plastic um, I could be wrong but this one um, follows the relationship between these two boys and I believe one of them has either a hearing impairment or is deaf so I'm looking forward to getting into this one as well back to manga pride readathon host faves I picked up cherry magic 30 years of virginity can make you a wizard this one is by Yu Toyota. It's published by Square Enix Manga and is rated mature. I got this one off of Bizarre Individual and it's Rachel's favorite list. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. I have our Not So Lonely Planet Travel Guide. This one is by Mone Sorai and is published by Tokyo Pop Rated Teen. I had this one ordered back from April, I believe, and it just came in. And so while this isn't on a host faves list, I am looking forward to getting into this one. It looks super cute about these two guys who kind of, one of them makes a deal with the other that he will marry them as long as they go on a trip around the world. And so that's what they're doing. Back to Manga Pride Readathon host faves. I have Escape Journey. This one is by Ogaretsu Tanaka, 
published by Sublime and rated Mature. This one was on Dylan's favorites list. He's already given me a little bit of a kind of heads up on something that happens in this, which was greatly appreciated. And again, wrapped in plastic. This one, I did actually order the three volumes um, because this series is three volumes long, but volumes two and three just are not available. I'm not sure when they're going to come back in stock. And so I figured I'll try out volume one and see how I feel about it. And we'll go from there. So then I think this is the last of the manga that I picked up for the Manga Pride Readathon. But that is volumes 1, 2, and 3 of That Blue Sky Feeling, story by Okuda, art by Koma Hashii. This one is published by Viz, rated teen. I got this one off of Bizarre Individual's favorites list. It is a three-volume manga series, so this is complete in these three volumes. And I think it is a sweet high school romance um, following these two characters here on the cover. So I'm looking forward to getting into this one as well. These volumes are rather thick, so that makes me happy as well because I really enjoy when the stories have a bit more <laughs> to give you in a volume. I don't know, sometimes I feel like manga volumes go by way too fast. Like, I think this one is going to. So this is Something's Wrong With Us, Volume 6. This is by Natsumi Ando, published by Kodansha, rated Older Teen. This volume is very thin. All the rest of the volumes in this series are. It is not something that I have started reading yet, as because it's so thin, I'm afraid that I'm going to fly through it so fast. Definitely sounds like something I'm going to really enjoy. It's kind of a revenge, maybe hate to lovers, um, enemies to lovers storyline. And so really looking forward to this. I've heard a few things about some cliffhanger endings, which is another reason why I haven't read this one yet, but again, I think it's going to be something I really enjoy once I get into it. I have The Way of the House Husband, Volume 5 by Kosuke Ono. This one's published by Viz and is rated Older Teen. I have only read the first volume in this series and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I am looking forward to continuing with this series, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that until all of the volumes are out because this series was so enjoyable. And again, this one is kind of thin. I did start watching the anime adaptation on Netflix and I enjoyed that one a lot as well, but I stopped right after where the first volume ended because I didn't want to get spoiled. But this one follows uh, Yakuza Lord. I'm not sure what you call the head guy in the Yakuza but he is known as the immortal dragon and he has given up that life to marry a businesswoman uh, just plain old normal everyday businesswoman and he is now a house, house husband so he does all the cooking he does the cleaning he goes grocery shopping and it is hilarious and I just really enjoy watching his adventures throughout the day the things that he gets up to too, and his interactions with people, especially because he still has that kind of gangster persona. And he meets somebody that used to be in his group. And their interactions as well is just hilarious. So I really enjoyed what I have read so far of this series. And I'm looking forward to continuing when more of it comes out. Or when most of it comes out. The next one I have is... The King of the Dead at the Dark Parade. This is by Tsuki Kage, illustration by Mero. Illustration by Meron Tomari. Meron Tomari. I think that's how you say it. Um, this one is published by Yen On and is rated 16 plus, so older teen. This is a light novel. And it follows a sickly boy who succumbs to illness only to awaken as a lowly unde undead named End. His initial reaction is not horror but joy. So he was awakened by a necromancer and that necromancer kind of wants payback. That's at least what I get from the back of this. 
So it sounded intriguing and I love this cover so I decided to go ahead and try that out. I really need to start reading some light novels because I think it's going to be something that I'm going to really enjoy especially because I read so many novels um, just regular novels and so yeah this one definitely piqued my interest. The next thing I got was Ride Your Wave. This is the light novel edition by Miki Toyota based on the screenplay by Reiko Yoshida and concept by Masaki Yuasa. Um, this one is published by Seven Seas and is rated teen. This was an anime movie that I was going to go watch with my daughter but we had decided against it because this is not the type of story that my daughter is really into. It basically, from what I remember, follows the relationship of these two characters on the cover, except the one of the characters dies. And I think it's going to be very emotional. And I know this one is also being published as manga, but I decided to go ahead with the light novels because the light novel was just singular and I think this is three volumes in manga and since I would be the only one reading it in my household the novel edition just made more sense. Next up we have volume 7 of Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest Story and Layouts by Hiro Mashima Art by Atsuo Ueda This one is published by Kodansha Rated Teen This one is just one that we're continuously collecting we really enjoy fairy tale. My daughter really enjoys this series so far. We have already read all of fairy tale and I have not yet jumped into the hundred years quest part but my daughter is up to date and she's really enjoying it as well. I'm looking forward to revisiting these characters and seeing what they're up to in this arc. I have another light novel. <laughs> this is probably the most light novels I have purchased in a while. This is I Have a Secret by Yoru Sumino. Um, this is best-selling author of I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, which I also have in light novel form, but haven't read yet because I hear it's very emotional and I need to be in a specific mood to read emotional stories. But this one's published by Seven Seas Rated Teen. Five high school classmates hold secrets close to their hearts. Then it says, it's a gentle, intriguing tale about love, life, and the things we leave unsaid. So, sounds like a contemporary story about these five kids on the cover. So, yeah. Thought that would be interesting to read. On the back here, it says, swear you'll never tell. So, I'm curious to see what kind of secrets these kids have. Then I have Volume 7 of Cells at Work, Code Black. This is story by Shigemitsu Harada, art by Ise Hatsuyoshiya, created by Akane Shimizu. This one is published by Kodansha Rated Mature. Um, this right on the back says there's a lung lobectomy. This series of Cells at Work covers a lot more adult type of issues. My daughter is really enjoying this series. She has just recently finished the entire anime of Cells at Work Code Black. She is now watching Cells at Work and has started to read the main Cells at Work series. She was introduced to this series when she was in high school um, because during Anime Club they had watched the first um, episode of the anime in Club. And so we had actually picked up a Humble Bundle that included the first five volumes and being that it's digital manga and it's not on an app I tend to forget about the Humble Bundle stuff, and so does my daughter, but I recently reminded her that we did have um, the first five volumes, and the sixth volume is coming out in June, so that is on order, spoiler for next month, but she is really enjoying the series, she has already read this one, and yeah, it'll be one that we continue to collect. So then I have volume 2 of ZOM 100 Bucket List of the Dead, story by Haro Aso, art by Kotaro Takata. This one is published by Viz and is rated older teen, and this one is about a uh, bucket list um, after a zombie apocalypse happens in this world. So 
I had picked up volume one earlier. I have volume two now. I do want to wait for another volume before I jump in because these volumes are rather, rather thin, but I have heard great things about it, and so I'm looking forward to this one. I have Blue Period Volume 3 by Tsubasa Yamaguchi. This one is published by Kodansha Rated Older Teen. This one is about an art student and the art style is very interesting to me. Um, I'm not sure how well I'll vibe with this series because I'm not much of an artist. I'm more a musician but my daughter is really into art and so I think this is a series that will resonate with her more than me. Um, but I'll definitely give it a go. I did pick this up with my daughter in mind, but since I haven't, I might as well give it a go, right? So, looking forward to seeing what I think of this one. I have volume 2 of Those Not-So-Sweet Boys by Yoko Nogiri. This one's published by Kodansha Rated Teen. This one just looked super cute. And I enjoyed what I read of Love and Focus, which I believe is also by um, this mangaka. I do have that Wolf Boy is Mine, also by this mangaka, but I have not read this yet. I do enjoy this mangaka's art style, though, so I don't think I am going to be disappointed by this story at all. I have Volume 1 of Thigh High, Reiwa Hanmaru Academy, Story and Art by Kotobuki. This one's published by Seven Seas Rated Teen. This one just looked like a hilarious time. My daughter immediately grabbed it out of the bag when it arrived at our house and she gobbled it up. She thought it was so funny and I'm looking forward to seeing what I think of this one as well. Of course, volume 44 of Haikyuu, story and art by Haruichi Furudate, published by Viz, rated teen. Ugh, the spoilery cover. I know. I'm not up to date with this series, but these are spoilers. <laughs> I am happy to see these characters together, but it's still spoilery, and I was a bit disappointed when these spoilery covers came out, but daughter has already read this one, thoroughly enjoyed it, was very disappointed when it was over. She's looking forward to the next one, which I think is the last volume, which makes us very sad, but another one in that series that we are thoroughly enjoying. I have volume one of Bite Maker, The King's Omega, story and art by Miwako Sugiyama. This one is published by Seven Seas Rated Older Teen. My daughter said something about this being part of the Omegaverse, and she tried to explain it to me, but I'm not quite sure still what that's all about. Um, but basically there's alphas in this universe and the main character in the series is an alpha but though he has a perfect life he's not satisfied with the life he has until he meets the woman of his dreams i have no idea i thought maybe that because it said bite maker it was about a vampire but alpha is usually something a term that's used when there are werewolves involved. I don't think this has anything to do with werewolves either, but it does say enjoy a taste of the supernatural in this Omegaverse tale about love lust and the power of attraction. So I'm very intrigued about this and the art again is very interesting on this cover. Then I have volume 6 of the Bungo Stray Dogs Light Novels by Kafka Asagiri, illustration by Sango Harukawa. This one is published by Yan On and is rated 13 and up, so that would be teen. Again, collecting these. I will eventually read them. These are the light novels. And I enjoy our characters. I enjoy the fact that this is uh, like a mystery thriller type of series with a little bit of paranormal supernatural elements to it and so I'm looking forward to finally diving into those sometime. I have volume 2 of Ragna Crimson by Daiki Kobayashi. This one is published by Square Enix Manga and is rated older teen. I am so intrigued by this art style. I mean look at that. It's kind of dark yet very intriguing. I think this 
one has to do with um, dragons, which is even more intriguing. So I'm looking forward to getting into this one. It's also a bit of a thicker volume, so that makes me happy as well. I have volume two of Mint Chocolate by Mami Orikasa. Mami Orikasa. This one's published by Yam Press, rated teen. Um, I truthfully missed this one when it was released so I had to catch up and pick it up and I'm looking forward to it. So there might be a little bit of change in the view that's because my camera died and I needed to plug it in but in any case the next volume I have up is volume 2 of If Which Then Which by Ato Sakurai. This one's published by Yan Press and is rated teen. If I remember correctly, this one follows a guy who cross-dresses to get into this uh, witch school to maybe protect um, the other female character on this cover. I think it has to do something with a blood transfusion. I think she gave him a life-saving blood transfusion. So he cross-dresses to get into this school to kind of help her out as thanks. I may have that wrong, um, but I believe it has something to do with that. In any case, it looked like a really cute story. The art style is totally something that attracted me, and I am looking forward to getting into this one. Next up, I have Volume 9 of M, Great Priest Imhotep by Makoto Morishita. This one is published by Yen Press and is rated teen. I do have a manga series sampler up on my channel um, f talking about my thoughts about the first three volumes in this series if you're interested. I haven't yet read any more in this series, but the covers on these volumes just get better and better and better. I mean, look at that. This is probably one of the best covers I've seen on this series. I think also because it's so colorful that also is just adding to it. But this is a series that I really enjoy. At least so far it follows Imhotep who comes um, to the future or to present day. He's brought back from the dead um, to help fight these uh, demons and so He's transported to present day and is the only one who can take care of the demons. So kind of follows him doing that as well as meeting a girl who was affected by the demons and kind of infiltrating her family and things like that, at least in the first three volumes. But I thoroughly enjoyed what I have read so far in this series and I'm looking forward to reading more. The last manga I have, and I say manga because the next two volumes I'm going to show you are not manga. They're, they are graphic novels though. Um, but it is, I was reincarnated as a villainess in an otome game, but the boys love me anyway. This is volume one by Ataka, So Inaida, and Hachipisu Wan. This one is published by Tokyo Pop and is rated teen. So I think you can probably tell what this one's about just by that title. So it sounded hilarious. It also sounded like it would be something right down my alley. And I'm looking forward to, to seeing how this story goes, especially with the fact that she's reincarnated as the villainess <laughs> in the Ultimate game. So yeah, it looked super cute. I had to check it out. So that covers all of the manga. The last two things I have are volumes 7 and 9 of Witch, which is Will, Irma, Tarani, Cornelia, and Haylin. This is part 3, volumes 1 and 3. I'm still waiting for volume 2, or part 2 of part 3. <laughs> volume 8, actually. And... So yeah, I've been slowly collecting these one part a month, at least I try, because this is a series that my daughter really enjoyed when she was younger, and I remember enjoying watching it with her as well on Jetix. And so yeah, when I had heard about these graphic novels being out, I thought I should check them out. So I'm looking forward to seeing what 
this story in particular is about because I believe the first two parts are parts that were depicted in the um, I wanted to say anime uh, cartoon I'm not sure that it's an anime um, but cartoon and so I think this is new material for me and so I'm looking forward to getting into it um, but I need the next volume and I also need to read the first two parts but like I said I am familiar with the story and those parts and so this would be new material for me and that does it for my manga haul so let me know if you have picked any of these up if you've read any of them what you thought of them or if you're thinking of picking up any of these titles now that you've heard a little bit more about them if you would be so kind as to leave me a sun emoji or the word sun down in the comments below that would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out and that will do it for me today so i hope you're all doing great i hope you're all safe and healthy and until next time take care and smile always bye